This green one does not do good. Okay, let me go find a plate to put these on. I have a cozy, fun girls night planned ahead for this weekend and I want to clean my house and get everything that can be cleaned and organized and I have a couple DIY projects in the girls room that need to be finished like adding a lamp, Titus adding some knobs to the girls dresser and cleaning their window and adding some rub and buff to the closet handles so it can match the frame around the screen. And in the meantime, I'm going to be cooking dinner and baking and it ends up raining, which is really cozy and so fun for California because here where we live, we don't get a lot of rain. The girls wanted to set their beds up and at first I was hesitant to let them just because I didn't want nothing to be rickety or set up wrong, but they did a wonderful job setting the beds up on their own and it was something I didn't have to do. And I feel like the older they get, learning to be less, I guess you would say, controlling and not having to do everything, but letting them do it is good for me and it's good for them. And they did a wonderful job. So something I didn't have to do. I got in there and cleaned their window really good. I am back to thinking of laying carpet in the girl's bedroom because Violet keeps asking for it. So I don't know, we're still not finished in there. And you know me, sometimes my projects take forever. I get sidetracked easily. And I made one of our favorite meals of mashed potatoes, cabbage, bacon, sausage, red pepper flakes, and you just top your mashed potatoes with a cabbage bake and it is a favorite of ours for winter cozy fall meals. The girl's window was dirty because it had sprinkled a week prior and then I haven't cleaned it in like two months. So you can imagine how dirty it was. I freshened up the girl's beds in their room with a clean bedding one day and I feel like clean sheets really make a room smell fresh and adds that little element that is just so refreshing when you walk into a room when you have clean bedding on your bed. I also wanted to get in my bedroom and clean that, clean the front porch. I feel like the front porch gets so dirty, so easy. I honestly feel like I could clean it twice a week. What I do in the wintertime, because it's so cold and I don't feel like getting wet, is I clean the door, get the cobwebs down, and then I take my Miss Myers spray cleaner and I spray the front porch and then I sweep everything off really well. And I feel like it turns out nice. It smells clean, freshens it up a bit. And then I hired Olivia to come help me clean my room because I was feeling a little bit tired and not the best. So she came over and we worked for a couple hours in my bedroom. We gave my plants a water bath in the shower. And I think the bedroom took us about two and a half hours. It was absolutely filthy and dust was everywhere. So that's why we needed to give it a good cleaning. That's what I was going to do was add the faux fall flowers to the basket. Sorry, I can't think. You cleaned all this? Yep. Okay, call books are down too? I didn't see any. Okay, well, I, you know what? I I just went over the call books like uh, two well, weeks I ago. There's a spider in this corner, okay. but I didn't see anything in that corner. Okay, these are my favorite, look. Yeah, I love those. Well, I could just put one basket, but the two basket look is kind of cute, huh? Yeah, I kind of like the two, but I mean, one basket would be pretty too, cool to change it up a little bit. No, I'm not quite changing it up because I don't have the energy to, <laughs> the same. to make it work. I'll put those away. Do you, wait for, do you want me to wait for the slider? Yeah, I got to clean the outside while you're doing the inside. So I'll add these in. Oh, okay, what do you think? Yeah, I like it. Me too. I think it's pretty. I like the colors. These right here? 
Oh, you like the colors? Mm -hmm. I do too. They were four ninety nine, and these were what were these? Um, four ninety nine too. So like half off. No, I love that. I think that looks way better, prettier than those for the like the color scheme you're doing right now. Yeah. I'm gonna move this back and I can start putting those. Put get everything up there and then I'll just tell you how I want it. Move it. Yeah, I'm just gonna position everything. I would like to add. Oh. Okay. Well, I might just add them all, huh? I thrifted these for 50 cents each. Isn't that crazy? You find literally the best thrifts. And I kind of scoot him like back a bit. I will. But in the middle, like it's odd. I'll go back and show you. You're fine. I'm going to squeeze past you. Okay. I got to get where I can be walking in the room and see what it looks like. Okay, I have a little picture picture up there. You put him on the thing? Yeah, but I, I center him even though no one can see him. If he's not centered, it drives me nuts. Uh-huh, that looks okay. Turn the statue head. Like, pull him the statue head out. Pull her out a bit, and I'd maybe turn her more where her bust is coming towards the slider. Then put the seashells kind of right there in the middle of the two. Kind of out in front. Hold the spittle when we get up there. Here's the books. My, eight, I'm sorry, 1888. And I like the spines to show where the thing is. Yeah, I kind of like that off centered. Mm -hmm. um, the book, bring that other blue book out where he's flush with the other ones. Yep. All the books have to be flush. And then the, the whatchamacallits need to be in the center of the books. This, I know the dust is getting to me too. I'm so dirty. Okay, here, he's clean. And I thrifted. Do this, you want him like in the back? Yeah. And then I don't have to worry about he's heavy, you got him? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go show you how to turn him. And then I'll tell you where I put these little guys. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna squeeze past you. Kind of duck your head a bit, let me see. Um uh, I guess the mirror isn't gonna be closing, so the Yeah, that side doesn't ever do anything. Okay, I kinda like him. Okay, I feel like we need put the head and the little horse maybe to the right to fill in that odd little gap. Uh huh. Kind of close, like. Do you want his head turned towards see? you or like straight? No, I like it. Uh, scoot the horse straight back into him a bit. No, bring him back out and push him like his rear end into the head. Okay. Let's see. That looks good. Now I just need to go fill that little spot in there. Okay. Here's my little English. Oh yeah, do you want that up there? I don't know. You can try it. I might not like it. Did we clean him? Yeah, I cleaned him. Okay. Uh, Maybe put the seashells over and then put him just kind of out in front. Yeah, put him in that odd little gap. Okay, perfect. Now push the shells kind of back. Uh-huh. I wonder if we could put some flower. Okay, scoot the books. Duck your head for a sec. Yeah, bring the books over just a hair, like everything over, the perfect stop. Yep, and then let me see. Yes, and then I think, maybe I could find something to put inside. Put inside the, Uh-huh, some them polish. That'd be cute with that little collage up there, don't you think? Just kind of set them together. Like on the seashells? No, with the seashells. Oh, the seashells. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. But maybe a more gappy, so there's a, yep. Maybe okay. more of a gap. And then bring, let me see. Put them out or in? Bring, that's perfect, but bring everything over just a hair to the right. So bring the big one over to the right, uh-huh, and back a bit. There you go. Yeah, then maybe just a hair closer to the little one. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, I love that. Now I just, well, if I ever find one again, I'll get it for you. Now we just need to find something, a little photo to put in there for fall, huh? That looks super cute. Yeah, I think so too. Good job.
looks pretty from here. Like that angle. Yeah. Okay, do you want to get up and spray him down? Yeah. And then just wipe off the bolts with these paper towels right here. I thrifted this, it's feather. Should I just brush him off and put him on my bed with the blue one? Yeah, I would, it's pretty. Okay. The next morning it started raining and we decided to make our homemade laundry detergent. Now I keep regular laundry detergent on hand for when I run out of my homemade and then I try to keep my homemade on hand for when I run out of that. Just I try to keep both on hand but I really enjoy this recipe right here and it's from a friend and she told me to add the downy beads for a fragrance and I know that's probably not completely clean and healthy but we like it and it works for us and it's very inexpensive to make and it really whitens my whites very well I can tell a difference like it stripped the clothes so Violet made me up a batch and put that together for me and that was one thing I didn't have to do I got some peanut butter cookies ready and it was cozy and rainy outside and I was home alone and I just baked away and I love adding the Hershey Kisses on top after they have come out of the oven. So good. One of my favorite cookies and then it was time to set up for my girls evening. I kept it small. I invited my sisters, my sister-in-law and four friends. And one of my friends couldn't make it, and then my one sister-in-law couldn't make it because she wasn't feeling well. But it was still cozy and so fun, and I saw this online last year, and I was trying to think of something fun to do for fall, and my one sister-in-law said, well, why don't you paint pumpkins? And I thought that was a wonderful idea, and then when she said that, I thought of that DIY that I seen on Instagram where you take dried flowers and you apply it to pumpkins with Mod Podge and then you have fun cute little centerpieces so that's what we decided to do and I got up that morning and freshened up my living room the same way I do my porch it wasn't too dirty so I just vacuum and then I take the Miss Meyer spray my floor and sweep and that's my idea of a quick mop and it works for me and the house felt cozy and clean. And then I got the tables set up for the girls night. Added some chairs in there and some tablecloths. And I wanted it to be all ready to go when they showed up. So I started early in the day and I cleaned my living room first. That's where I was setting it up. and. In my living room, it's kind of empty because I have some DIY projects that I want to do in there. So it looks a little bare on the main wall, but hopefully that will be filled up soon. And I just have to find the right things that I'm looking for. I folded some laundry, put that away, and my laundry was all caught up. So that's very nice for the coming week. I set the tables up in the living room and I added... Christmas tablecloths because I couldn't find Thanksgiving ones and then just brought in some chairs from the kitchen and Put those around the table. It didn't match, but it turned out really cute even though the chairs were different and I got these really cute little houses from Target and they light up and one looks like the Plaza Hotel which I absolutely love and we are going to New York in December and I might vlog on that trip so the plaza is something I'm going to be seeing rather soon, and I'm excited about that. But anyways, back to my party planning. I wanted everything ready to go, the pumpkins set out on the table. I wanted real pumpkins, but by the time I planned this, uh, the real pumpkins, I think, were getting scarce. So we used faux pumpkins from Amazon, and then I set the dried flowers on plates, and I did three plates down the table so that way the ladies could have the flowers in front of them and if need be we could pass the plates around 
I was pleasantly surprised with how pretty the flowers came in and uh, I really like the white bunch and the cream bunch and the with the orange in there that was my favorite package and I wish I would have ordered more but I ordered these and didn't know what they were going to look like but they came in really pretty the table is all set and I have a paper plate and a paper towel for the pumpkins and then I thought we could eat our appetizers on this table as well and have our coffee so everything is ready to go. I did ask them to bring some appetizers. And so we had a nice array of appetizers. And you can see my friends here. And I love them. They're all so sweet and so kind. And I appreciate them very much. And it was a fun evening. And very relaxing, very chill. And something I like. And so I appreciate that they came and I hope they had fun. The appetizers were so good. My favorite appetizer was the spinach dip that Whitney brought. And then I had my coffee bar so we could have coffee. And then we ended the night making our pumpkins and it turned out so fun. I plan on doing it again next year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you guys on the next video.